Merci d'être venu et bienvenue au groupe Ama Stadium. Je vous demande d'accueillir votre nouvel entraîneur. Hello, what is up guys? It is Keegan here and today we are starting the newest career mode year. FIFA 22 is out and we are back with the Olympic Lyon career mode as promised. A little earlier than I expected. I did not know you got unlimited FIFA 22 early with EA Play Pro or EA Pro Play or whatever it's called for like $20. So we start today and we are going non-stop here until we finish the career mode. Let's start quickly. Let's just, you know, get this preseason tournament out of the way before we get into some more things. I actually have to click into the game to do that. But we are now in the save. It has been quite a while since I played with Leon on FIFA. It's actually been since the last time, honestly, I did the career mode. I haven't really gotten to do a personal of myself in a while. So let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the team real quick. See who's in the team. See if the squad update is as up to date as I expect it to be. It looks like uh, we might be missing a player here. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't look like it. it. Looks like he's on the bench with no face. Really? That is weird. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll put Jerome Boateng on the bench there well not on the bench in the starting 11 there and we'll go through the team here in a second after i go through it a little bit you know make my changes to the bench first thing i want to do let's talk about the series a little bit and what you can expect to see first off if you didn't watch the series last year i went with the net spend model where i only spent the money that i made through the transfer window and well i think i'm going to do that again this year i think it makes the most sense um, despite the fact that we brought in players like Jerome Boateng and Shakiri, um, players, you know, you wouldn't necessarily expect us to bring in. I think I'm still going to go with the net spend. It appears to be how we're still operating on the transfer window. So it makes sense to continue with that. And in terms of the first season, I think I'm going to not make any transfers in terms of bringing players in, in terms of keeping players, we're going to make a few loanies. As you can see here, if we go down to the bottom here, we got a few players that we probably should loan out. We do not need this many players on the reserves, that's for sure. They're better off suited going out on loan and getting some experience elsewhere. So I made some quick changes to the team. And this is a starting 11. I think I'm going to go with the majority of the season. Let me move Kakare and Guimaraes around real quick. We'll play them in this way. As you can see here, I'm making a pretty bold decision. Malo Gusto has had a really, really good start to the season this year and while I really think Dubois is a great player I think he's someone who's really really good in FIFA I want to really try to give Malaguso a go in career mode he is 18 I do think there's a real opportunity for him to grow and I think we can have both of them in the squad for a very long time but I think I'm going to give Malaguso just the nod right now mainly because Leo Dubois has been a polarizing player among the Lyon supporters so I think we're going to go with Malaguso he's someone that everybody's been excited about so I'm very excited to use him. Now, I got a comment that people wanted me to use Kataware, uh in this save. A little more than I did last time. We kind of used him to replace Toko Akambi as a backup striker. And he's actually 77 overall. He is 25. So, you know, maybe we might not get the best growth out of him. But as a backup winger to Shakiri, I think he's going to be a very, very solid player. Uh, Toko Kambi is going to start on the left for now. We're going to look to maybe replace him in a season or two. He is 28. Um, but I am going to use him as the winger for now, and Auer is actually going to be on the bench. Um, we might look to sell Auer this season. I think it's time for Paqueta to take kind of the reins of this team, and this to be his team in this career mode save. Um, as I think, you know, he's become one of my favorite players, honestly. You know, the last season and this season has just been amazing. The rest of the team, pretty standard. The back line... Uh, Emerson, um, Denier, and Boateng. I was considering whether or not I wanted to use Boateng in this series. I know there is, you know, a lot of drama going on around him. I'm not going to get into it in this video, um, but if you want to find out what's going on, you know, it's all over the internet for you to find. Um, but I think I'm going to use him for now. I don't really want to get into that, you know, too much. So we'll use him in this save. We'll probably have to replace him eventually. He is 32, and, you know, in FIFA, that is not going to last for long. A few players we do have to sell, though. Marcelo will be sold. I will not be using him in this save. He is not a part of Lino's plans, and he's certainly not a part of my plans anymore. So he'll be gone. 
Uh, we are going to make a few loan signings, I think, or move some players out on loan. Lukeba potentially goes out, and then I think De Silva and Keita, definitely two players I want to go out on loan. Shirky is on the bench for now, uh, or on the reserves, rather. We are going to get him into as many games as we can in the Europa League, so expect to see him feature a lot more this time around. Now... As I said that, we want to make some loans. Let's go into the squad hub real quick and actually make those loans. You can see here I still have a lot of the um, a lot of things to do with the team here. And we're going to sort it by overall and go from the bottom and put some of these players on loan. Barcola, we're going to add him to the transfer list. He is uh, contract expiring in 12 months, so good to just get him out of here. We don't really need him. Ta Tito and Thomas, his contract's expiring in 12 months as well. We can add him to the transfer list. And then we'll add to the loan list De Silva and Keita. Um, I think we can add Pintor to the loan list as well. Um, we don't really need to, to have him in this quote as well. So these are the three players we're going to loan out. And then we'll sell Barcola and Thomas. Now, one thing that I was considering doing, I was, I was thinking about this a little bit going into the season, about whether I wanted to use the homegrown talent. I don't think there is a homegrown talent in my save, actually because I am using the early access and playing on Origin. So I actually don't have that, thankfully, so I don't have to make the decision. So we're going to take a look quickly at the players that we got randomly in our um, Youth Academy. You can see here we got a potentially really good goalkeeper here, another potentially good goalkeeper here, um, and then it looks like a bunch of, you know, pretty poor players. So I'm going to quickly go... We got five goalkeepers in our Academy, really? They really thought we needed five goalkeepers. Okay. Wow. I'm going to quickly remove these players off screen and I'm going to start playing through the, the training uh, <laughs> instructions. As you guys know, you got to play through all of them at least once in career mode. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will let you guys know when the first piece of important information happens. All right, we've got quick A's here on this one. Pretty easy <laughs> to get through all this. Let's take a look at some of the emails we get here. Quickly, the European International Cup, that's the preseason tournament we're going with. Not that it really matters and I need the money, uh, but it's good to get players in fitness um, with their uh, with their sharpness and such like that. Youth Academy report, we already did that. Vision and expectations, we'll go into that in a second. Uh, let's go through this, the introductions, and then let's do some quick uh, quick farming of, this, uh, of the, uh, the morale, rather. Man, it's been a while since I've been in the transfer window. And one of these saves. Let's take a look at some of the big um, objectives that we have this season. So our objective is sign at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. So that'll be a big thing for January. We'll look to do that. We'll sign two players in your youth academy that are defenders and then have some youth academy players play. So it looks like the youth academy is a big thing here for the team as to be expected with Lyon. Brand exposure, we got to get five away wins in a row. And then we got to replace three players from the team. I don't really think I'm going to do that in season one, especially since we've already made some transfers already, uh, you know, coming into this save. But, you know, probably not going to end up doing that one. We got to reach the final of the Europa League. It's definitely going to be a tough goal, but one that I think I would have set for myself regardless. They want us to win the league and the cup, they want us to do the treble. In our first season. That is insane. <laughs> Those objectives are not right. So we're definitely going to want to at least put pressure on the cup and the Euro European cup there. So we don't end up randomly getting sacked here. Because this is a high priority. And then we have to reduce our finances. Low priority. Nothing to really worry about there. Now let's go into a few things I want to do in terms of the squad. In terms of position training. So a few things we're going to need to do. As you can see, Boating has his real face. Why does he just not have his face in? I don't know. It's what a, what a scenario. One thing I'm going to do, we'll make some changes here to the development plan of Iketa. He's going to be a cam for the entirety of this series. So we're going to make sure he is an attacking midfielder in this save. So we're going to quickly get him positioned, moved over to that. We are going to be playing with two central midfielders in this series. I think I'm going to go with that 4-3-3. You guys saw for the entire time uh, of this save. Instead of the 4-3-3 the three, three with the one defender or the one central defensive midfielder, we're going to go with two CMs and one attacking midfielder this time around. We'll put Guimaraes now to central midfield for that. And I don't think there's anybody else I really need to change position-wise. Sharky is on the wing. Maybe we can put him to a left winger. 
I think I'm going to move him to the left wing, actually. With Kataweri on the right, I think it might make sense for him to be a left winger. He's already got five-star skills and five-star weak foot, so it doesn't really matter what side he plays on. Let's make him a left winger then. And then going around down the rest of the team, I don't think any of these position changes are really important. Now, let's get into another thing I'm going to do that I didn't do last season was to set up a youth academy. I didn't actually do this last time around. I do have one, actually, that they just give you for free. And I think this would be, you know, an interesting and more immersive part of the series this time around. I think Leon have a really, really good academy. And if we can, you know, create our own academy players and our own academy storylines, I think that would be really, really fun. And I think it's something that the series missed out on a little bit last year. So now we have a few things to do before we get into the first games of the season. We got this preseason tournament to go. Let's quickly sim through all of these games. I'm not really super interested in, you know, making money out of this tournament or seeing how it goes, but, you know, we might as well do it. Oh, I just realized that they changed the, the sim menu in this now. I'm just going to quick sim. Oh, that's not the quick sim button. Okay, this is the jump to result. Okay, so we lost 3-1 to, to Napoli. That's to be expected. Napoli are a really, really good team. One of our main rivals for the Europa League this season, though. We've got a transfer offer for Kataweri. I'm definitely not going to be accepting that. As you can see here, we're still going to fight through all of these of these stupid... Um, oh, he's got a 27 million release clause. I'm going to look to maybe sign him to a new contract here after, um, after this episode is over, um, just so I can do it off-screen. Um, but I, you know, people want me to keep him around, so I'm definitely going to keep him around uh, for as long as, you know, as long as I can. Do another quick sim here, see if we can win. All right, well, it looks like we're just not going to get anywhere with this uh, with this preseason tournament. Not that we need the money, as I've said before, but, you know, it is what it is. Looks like they want us to rotate the squad. That is not a big deal. I should probably actually be playing these transfers, uh, <laughs> these... Um, what is it called? These training as well. But I'm going to do that off screen after we get through this international preseason tournament real quick. Um, uh, we have our last game here. We're definitely just going to be knocked out. We're not beating. We couldn't beat Napoli or Villarreal. We're not beating Inter Milan here. Just not going to happen. All right. And I accidentally clicked on this again. This is going to be frustrating. I'm going to do this many a times, I think, throughout the series. And we didn't. We scored one goal the entire preseason tournament. Awesome. <laughs> what a great way to start the preseason tournament. So now I'm going to play through the rest of the training drills. We're going to have some position changes come up. We're going to have some loans, hopefully. So I'll keep you guys in the loop before we get into the first game of the season against Stade Bristol. All right, we have got a transfer offer here for Guimaraes. We're going to quickly deny all transfers for him. Paqueta has now gotten his development plan he can now be moved to the central attacking midfield role 81 overall i'm going to see now what i want to do for his uh regular um training i think i'm going to do advanced playmaker gives him the most opportunity to grow here and you know his vision crossing free kicks you know passing i think this is going to be a good way for him to really grow into this team i think we can't really train his sprint speed it won't let me so we're going to go with that here for his um, for his development plan for now. I'm going to get more customized with other players' development plans as well. Uh, but for now, we're just going to do it with Paqueta here. For now, central midfielder for Bruno Guimaraes. He's now at 80 overall. That's good. We'll leave him on a balance for now. And Cherokee is now at the left wing. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? He is preferred left-footed. So I think I'm going to go with wide playmaker for now. He does have that five-star weak foot. But we'll see if he can be a player who can bring the width down that left-hand side for the team. All right, we are getting close to the first game of the season when we have our first youth monthly scout report. Take a look at the players we have here. Looks like oh, this keeper is not going to be that great, but it looks like Bach, Amar Bach, maybe could become something. Looks like his potential has stayed. We have Munoz here. Uh, well, I guess we'll leave him in there for now. We don't really have any other players to put into our youth academy for now. But we are almost here at the game against Stad Brestois. Looks like Arsenal are looking for <laughs> Jason Denier. Absolutely not. I'm going to have to make sure we send him to a new contract. 
Don't want to risk him going in January, that's for sure. And now we are here, the first game of FIFA 22 in the new career mode. What a start this is going to be. Wow, it looks like Enrique, they want him on a loan to buy. I'm going to I'm gonna reject this for now. I am interested in moving Enrique on, but we don't really have another option on the bench for now. I'm going to skip the press conference for now. I'm not really too interested in them. I'm going to watch some videos and see if they're any more exciting than they used to be. Um... But, you know, we'll see when we get into there. But this is going to be the first game of the season, the full starting 11 with Malo Gusto starting. And we'll see you guys in the game. And that is, there it is, match day one of League. Uh, it's going to be super exciting. I am playing on PC. I would, you know, I'll let you guys know. So we won't have next-gen graphics. We won't have hypermotion or anything. So do keep that in mind when watching this series that we will be on FIFA 22 on PC. One thing I want to say before we get into the game, I want to do a big shout out to my Discord server. Link to that in the description. I'm going to try to be super active on Discord this first, you know, three, two to three weeks of FIFA when the Leon series is basically going to be a daily series. Uh, I'm going to try to be as active as I can in there. I do work a full-time job, so be mindful of that. Um, but join the Discord server. Link is in the description. Let's take a look at the team that we're going with. It is the standard team. I noticed some of this has been a little laggy. Uh, don't like that. We'll just skip past it if it's going to be laggy. Oh, you actually have to hold to skip now? That is very, very weird. Before we get into the new camera, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's take a look at the Stad Bristois team. I really, really like this new menu here that we have. You get to see a lot more stats about your players in-game. And I'm going to spend a lot more time in the games, I think, going through these stats and kind of talking about them. This is the team stat Bristol have. I don't like how you can see the overall of the players in this window. It kind of takes away the immersiveness of the, um, what is it called? Not the shadow. I, I think it's called like shadow mode in NHL, but uh, actually having to scout players. Um, but I do know a little, a lot about the league, so I'll be able to provide some information for those who don't really know much about Liga. So definitely a standard team here. Cardona, Fave. You know, two of their best players. Larson is a really, really good goalkeeper as well. So definitely, you know, the team that gave us trouble, we actually drew here uh, in this first game of the season, one all. Albeit we didn't have a lot of the players that I have in the team now going into that game. But this is the starting 11 we are going with and probably will be going with for most of the season. Now, you can probably tell I'm playing on the new default camera angle, which is the semi-broadcast style camera angle. The, uh, the camera angle that kind of looks like it does when you're watching TV. I think it's really, really cool. And I think it's, you know, a little bit more immersive than in years past. So I'm going to give it a go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, I haven't played on it before. This is my literally my first game playing FIFA 22. So we'll see how it goes before we make any decisions on it for full time. In terms of gameplay, one thing I've noticed, at least in the first 15 minutes, is the CPU is much, much better at attacking and they're a lot better at actually like creating runs and stuff i am on legendary uh just to so you guys know for this series i don't plan on using sliders at least for now um if you know it becomes too easy obviously we can start pumping the sliders up but definitely seems like the cpu is a lot better this year than they were last year last year they were really static felt a lot of the times they didn't really do much you can kind of pass and attack around them with ease this year, they they appear to be a little smarter, the CPU does, so it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Oh, let's see if we can make a move here. Uh, Shakiri just not making the right run. There, let's see if Piketa can get into Dembele. It looks like Dembele's touch is just not that good right now. We're going to have to work on his ball control, I think, in the uh, in his development plans. So we can get that up, get, get his uh, ball control into a usable stat. And there it is. It looks like Irving Cardona has put them 1-0 ahead. I forget who scored the first goal. Oh, it's Onrat. Onrat. I don't know why I thought it was Cardona. Onrat has scored. Just like the for the game against Brest in the season. I forget who scored for them. But man, early goal for them. This is not good. Emerson just out of position. And then Lopez. There's just nothing you can do from that point. Frank Onrat. First goal of the season and first goal of the of FIFA 22. And we've conceded early. I've noticed that it's been a little laggy recording. I'm going to have to optimize my FIFA settings. 
I think make sure that we don't see that lag because I know I didn't notice it when I started FIFA 20 21 last time around it was a little laggy at the start I have to see what I changed and that to make sure we don't have those same problems again oh there we go Malo Gusto with the great pass to Sherky here Sherky doesn't really have a lot of pace he's getting his shirt pulled here can we get him his first goal of the save into Paqueta lay it off to Guimaraes Oh, it looks like he just played onside with the defender, but a big save by the keeper there. It looks like it was offside. I thought he was played on. It looks like we're going to go in at halftime down 1-0. Might have to change the game a little bit here. Oh, what a what a counter press there. Get that into Paqueta. See if we can move around. Oh, Shakiri, ah, uh, just not able to find a pass there. And yeah, it looks like we are going into halftime down 1-0. It's not been a good, you know, game in the midfield. Usually that's something that, you know, Leon dominate is the midfield, but I just haven't been dominating the midfield at all so far. Let's just take a look at the performance here so far. Take a look at this. Wow, this this stats is really cool. As you can see there, Emerson is not having a really good game. We're getting Paqueta into decent positions, uh, but still, as you can see, they're not in the final third enough of the time with the ball. As you can see there, you know, even Dumbella not spending enough time in that final third. So definitely something we're going to have to change going into the second half. I do have hour on the bench to change it up if I need to, to go for that sec to go for that first and hopefully second goal. Oh, what a weighted pass by Kakare. Shakiri is in. Oh, why is it lagging? Oh, that is so frustrating. It just lagged on me as soon as I got in there. Let's get that cross in. Onto Dembele's head. We scored so many of those those headers from Dembele this season. Oh, in the last FIFA. Oh, Paqueta, what a shot there. A really, really good chance to beat the keeper there. So you can see if Shakir can get another ball in to Denier. No. We'll see if how corners are like in this game. Usually it's something that can be a little finicky, I find. In FIFA corners. Oh, what a pass in there by Emerson. Oh, and that's going to be another corner. We really put the pressure on here in this second half. Let's see if we can get something in the middle there. Into Toko it can be. And that's going to go wide there. We're definitely knocking on the door here. A stab breast wide. I think a goal potentially is coming for us if we keep playing like this. Oh, Paqueta, what a pass in Dembele. He's one-on-one -on -one the keeper. Oh, my God, and that's a save from the keeper going for a bicycle kick there. The only way we can really... Oh, no, it looks like Dembele is down hurt. It looks like an arm injury. <laughs> Same injury we had with him last season in season three, which is a little a little frustrating, but it looks like he the game hasn't stopped, so he's probably going to get up here. Well, let's see if we can get Malo Gusto down this right-hand side. Looks like, you know, he is 66 overall, so definitely, you know, a player who's going to need a little bit of time to grow, but someone I'm really excited to use. Oh, Paqueta now into Dembele. Dembele is hurt. He does have that health bandage. Let's see if we can make a pass in here. Oh, we can get it into... Oh, and Dembele, can he finish that? Oh, he can't, but oh, it's just going to bounce too far away. From Paqueta, let's see if we can press the defender here. Get it back. Looks like he's going to get it back to the goalkeeper. Just nothing doing here. Oh, we're going to get it back into Dembele. Oh, into Paqueta. Oh, my God, and he's hit the crossbar. Just not a good, a good start to life at Lyon in this save. It looks like we're actually going to lose the first game of the season against Stad Brest. It's even a worse result. That will be got in real life, and we got a draw, which is definitely not good enough. Oh, that is a good, good return there from Guimaraes, and what a save there by Lopez. Looks like we're going to have to bring Katawari on. Debele might be hurt. Could be a problem there. Let's see if Katawari can do something off the bench. Provide a little bit of pace on the counterattack. But it looks like there's only a minute left anyway, so the first game... Of the season is going to go in the books. 1-0 lost to Stade Brestois. Just wasn't good enough. I think uh, getting used to Paqueta. He's a little slow in this game. 
which is a little annoying. I definitely would like him to be a little faster, but I don't make the ratings. EA does, so a little bit of a disappointing result, but we still have plenty of time to make up for it. And stab breasts, you know, they are not an easy out, that is for sure. All right, well, we are here at the game against Auche, and Dembele only had a five-day injury. Um, so we might be able to let him know. Um, let's see. Okay, we'll do that for him. He is available for this game, actually, and you can see there he is full stamina. So we're going to go with the full strength team. I am going to go with Dubois, I think, this time. I think Gusto was good. But I don't want to risk it. It's I don't want to risk it in FIFA here. We got to get Dubois in, get his sharpness up as well, and we got to go for that win. We <laughs> this was a really bad game for Leon in the real life calendar. If anybody remembers that game, if anybody's a Leon supporter, they know how this one <laughs> went. That's all I'll say. So hopefully we can make it up and you know do a little better this time around. So what's nice is you can actually skip through all of the opening cutscenes actually very quickly now, which is super nice. Um, okay, I don't actually want to see the match facts. We'll go to performance. We'll take a look at the Angers team. As you can see there, this is the team that they're going with. Bufal is a very, very good player. Baokin is really good as well. Fulgini is the main man in this team. He is a quality, quality player. And he's going to be the main threat from Angers today. We're going with the same team with Dubois. At right back, as you can see, they're wearing the jersey I'm wearing. Man, this jersey is so awesome. I love the Leon kits this season. They're just so much fun. Just some of the best kits I think we've had in a long, long time. So I'm definitely super excited. I will be wearing my Leon kits the entire way through the series. I do have the home and away, and I am going to get the third kit at some point. We'll see, though, but definitely excited for this series. Oh, let's see if we can get Musa Dembele in here. Oh, he is through already. Can we get our first goal to save? Yes, we can. And Toko Akambi has found Moose and Dembele right where he left off in the last <laughs> Olympic Leon career mode. Scoring bags of goals and he's got his first of the save right there. And Toko Akambi on that left side might get a little bit more of a look in in the career mode this time around. He's getting having a pretty good start to life at Lyon in this season. Um, obviously, he you know didn't have a really good start. I think in his first full season, I think he, you know, he scored a lot of goals, but, you know, was a little bit of a polarizing figure in the team. I think he's going to have a pretty good run this season, and I definitely want to give him that opportunity to play in the team. And the emphasis is on creativity. Oh my god, what a goal from Bufal there. Wow, I told you he would be a threat in this game, and right away they have replied what a strike that was. Fulgini and Bufal, I think it is, that combined there to put them one all. Wow, what a finish that is. Let's see that. Just Emerson is getting pulled out of position. You can see there, wow. Boateng just gets bullied off the ball too easily. And what a strike that is. And they have pulled 1-1 one, one here. Quick response from Ajay. Oh, Paqueta into Dembele. Can he get his second? Oh my god, that's off the post. What a find from Lucas Paqueta there to find Musa Dembele. And it feels like the finishing might be a little different in this FIFA than I'm used to. I would have expected to put that away every time in FIFA 21, but maybe a little bit something to get used to. And the new FIFA, what a save there by Lopez. And it goes out for a corner. Alright, as we get into the second half here, I am getting Awar his first minutes of the save here. Oh, that's just not a good enough pass there. He's going to come up for Kakri, and we're going to go to a 4-3-3 and have um, Gimaraes sit a little bit deeper with Paqueta and Awar in the midfield there. Um, something a little similar to the formation I ran last year uh, in FIFA 21, in the FIFA 21 save. So let's see if that'll bring us... A little more joy as we try to attack this Angers defense. It might be perfectly set up for the counter -attack, you know? Oh, what a counter attack. Look at that. Dembele into Awar. Awar is far further forward. Dembele, what a finish. What a counter attack. And you know what? It, it's the combination we've seen all too well 
in the FIFA 21 series. Alwar and Dembele changed the game completely with that attack right there. It all started with Alwar at the at the top, and then right in there, Shakiri is going to get the assist there on the goal from Musa Dembele, and that is a beautiful finish for his second of the game and his second of the season. Oh, and Dembele has found Alwar again in space, and he's created a corner here. Alwar has really changed this game early on here. Maybe we'd go with the Alwar, Paqueta, and Guimaraes midfield. I really don't want to drop Kakare, but the midfield has been working so well, and Poetang jumps up there and scores his first goal of the save. And it is 3-1, complete reversal of the result at Angers that we had in real life, we lost 3-0 pretty convincingly in that game. And now we are up 3-1, and it has been pretty convincing thus far. What a finish, too, in the air. Looks like defenders are getting a little more aggressive on the corners this year, which I like to see. Better than just crossing it to the near post, to the striker every time. Let's get the defenders a few goals in this save. All right, good defending there from Boateng to send that back for a corner. We're going to make a few more changes here, get some more players involved. We'll get Kadawari into the game here, and then we'll get Gusto back in. Oh, it looks like Mendez. Looks like he doesn't have a lot of sharpness. Let's get him a couple minutes here, see if we can keep his sharpness up. He is going to be an important player in this team. We don't have a lot of midfielders to rotate around in this squad so he's going to be a player that we're going to have to use a lot in the Europa League primarily uh, before we potentially look for changes in the January transfer window oh no it looks like they're on a big counter attack here Boateng is left alone and there it is just a perfect counter attack from Angers <laughs> Angers there and I think is that Buffal again he just keeps tripping over himself, buddy. <laughs> Stay on your feet. Wow, what a goal. It's Baukin, actually. My apologies. Baukin puts that in the back of the net. And now it is 3-2. to two. Our defending is still not up to snuff. You know, it's, that's what Leon's defending is like in real life, too. We're going to have to be patient in these final few minutes. Just pass it around. Make sure we don't lose possession. And secure our first three points of the season. I say that and immediately lose possession on the wing. Oh my god, and we've conceded again. Are, are you kidding me? Oh my god, the defending is a nightmare. You would think with Denier and Boateng at the back, we would not be defending like this. But Thiago Mendes, I don't know what he is doing, what his instructions are, what his work rates are, because he just pushed insanely out of the midfield and just did not drop back to cover any of these. And wow, Auger have done us again. And just as I said at my third goal, that we that we had been in full control it's completely fallen apart for us and now it looks like we're going to only take one point out of our first two games i mean that's the result we had in the first two points you know we only got one point in our first two games in real life as well but definitely want to be doing better especially against these teams oh can paquette to get in here oh his pace just is not good enough sometimes in fifa to make those runs that you need him to only 76 sprint speed from midfield can be a little bit problematic. I mean, it's, it's super hard done by by that rating, in my opinion. Just super frustrating. Oh, no. Do not concede here late. What a save there by Lopez. And we can defend the corner here. Wow. We cannot lose our first two games of the series here. Okay. There we go. We're going to get that one out. It looks like... Oh, no. No, don't do this to me. All right, they're going to pull it all the way out. And we are going to take a three-all draw against Angers away from home. Definitely, it's been an interesting start to the season, I'll say that. Mirror is kind of how we started our season as well. But that is going to be the end of the episode, actually. We've gotten through our first two games. Not much has happened yet in the transfer window so far. The next episode, I don't. I think today will be a double upload day. So check in back in later for the next episode of the Olympic Leo Career Mode. If you guys made it this far, 
I really, really appreciate it. It really helps me out in the channel. Make sure to leave a like rating on the video. Subscribe as well. I'm hoping, you know, this series brings a lot more new people to kind of Leon, you know, brings this club, you know, a little bit more, uh, no, I wouldn't say notoriety, but, you know, shows people this club on a broader scale. I think it's a club that's really, really awesome. And I think it's often disrespected. I think due to the hour transfer and stuff on Twitter, it, it is kind of funny, but I think people, you know, don't really see how, you know, great of a club this is at all times. So you made it this far. I'm going to start doing this. You made it this far. Put PSG cheats in the comments down below with your comments on your other suggestions for the series. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, have a wonderful day.